uh, UV rays touches my skin, I born really bad and then I develop skin cancer. The sun's rays, so often a symbol of health and happiness. But for one young woman in this quiet town, they're nothing short of deadly. I've had 43 skin cancer surgeries. So my elective surgery was on Tuesday and they found a different type of squamous cell carcinoma where it grows really fast and it was like about maybe that big. Well, they numb it and then they slice it and then they cyst it. Lizzie was born with a rare condition known as xeroderma pigmentosum, or XP. Her skin is unable to repair its own DNA once it's been damaged by the sun's harmful UV rays. At home, all the windows have been lined with protective filters but it's the outside that presents the biggest danger. Okay, we're getting ready now. Every day she's gotta put on this sunscreen. For Lizzie, leaving the house is a huge ordeal, as even the tiniest gap in her clothing could allow UV rays through and prove catastrophic. Jeans are the best that uh, have the tightest weave, and so she's got her jeans on. She's got her gloves. She likes those that she can text with, of course. Yep. And this meter shows the amount of ultraviolet rays. Of course, inside it's at zero, but outside it turns to like 1,600. Lizzie is supposed to be under 10. Lizzie's mum had noticed the signs of XP sometime before she was able to give it a name. When she was six weeks old, about 30 minutes in the park, and we came home, the next morning, her eyes were swollen shut, her face was red, and, you know, we rushed to the doctor. Unfortunately, XP is so rare that a lot of doctors don't know about it, and so he just thought, oh, well, I guess she just got a little too much sun. For years after, Lizzie and her family were completely unaware she had a potentially fatal genetic disorder. She lived a very normal life except for all her burning. But the sunburns that she would get would make her skin look pretty bad. She tops it all off with this hood. <laughs> so, this, yeah. Put her hood and so she's covered head to toe and ready to go outside. Oh, don't forget your meter. It wasn't until Lizzie was 12 that a local doctor shed light on her condition. I found two sores on my face that would not go away. So I went to a dermatologist and they said, oh, that's cancer. Remarkably, the doctor happened to be one of the few XP experts in the world. I had actually seen a lot of cases of XP. So I, of course, thought of that first thing when I saw Lizzie. Whereas I think someone who had not had that perspective probably wouldn't even have suspected it. The dangers of XP uh, include the development of multiple skin cancers and other problems such as neurological problems and developmental problems. The diagnosis completely changed the way that Lizzie had to live her life. Do you have your meter, Lizzie? Yeah. Okay. On a typical cloudy day, the meter runs about, uh, hey, uh, three to four hundred, but on a super sunny day, um, it, it runs 1,600. It, it goes on and off. Let me see that. This is... So it's reading 400 right now. And now when it says hot, it's only in 10 or 9. So it does really help. So I feel actually pretty safe. In the very beginning, I felt sad and I said, please don't stare at me. I'm just a normal person. I felt kind of sad, upset. But I still get remarks from people saying, why does that girl have a bag on her head? 
Are you a space mutant? Hey, are you a beekeeper? Are you from outer space? So I explain to them what it is because I want people to have a knowledge of XP. Lizzie is a real champion, I think, when it comes to her uh, diagnosis with XP. She really is upbeat about it. I think I am positive because I have a great big family. I have five brothers, I have two sisters, 20 nieces and nephews. XP in the US affects one in one million people. What's rarer still is having two instances of it in the same family. My niece has XP. She's seven. When my daughter was first diagnosed with XP, she was just one year old. She had a really bad sunburn and we took her to a doctor who recognized it, thanks to, uh, to my sister. Even with having XP in the family, we were still shocked. I'm really grateful for my sister, Lizzie, and the example she's been to, to my daughter, and she's kind of a hero to her. And Lizzie's niece isn't her only fan. She is really outgoing, and she just, like, loves everyone that she meets. So I could pretty much walk to anyone and they'll say, oh, Lizzie, I want to be your friend. You're so fun to be around. She doesn't let her XP control her. She's just the funniest girl I've ever met. She just loves life. A uh, message that I would like to share with people. Just know that you are here on Earth and just be happy, make new friends, and have a positive attitude no matter what you deal with.